All right, so glad you could join us on the Weather Network. It is Friday, July the 19th. Wet-wise, well, this is what we are expecting today. Calm conditions. Port Stanley, Ontario. Thank you, little beach lady. This was seen yesterday morning. Look at that water, just like glass. Ah, very ominous. Let's go back to uh, July 17th, the Saguenay region. I know the Northern Tornadoes Project were in Chicoutimi in investigating potential tornado damage from that storm. Those are some ominous looking clouds. Oh my goodness. Uh, we've got quite the outage going on between Microsoft and CrowdStrike. And uh, uh, if you are trying to catch a, a, a flight today, uh, I am I'm feeling for you because there's numerous, numerous delays and certainly um, you know, banking as well. Even here at the Weather Network, we were impacted like that. But I'm going to show you some maps here where the, that we are back online working here. We do have some thunderstorms moving across northwestern Ontario. Heavy rain around the Red Lake area to just north of Kenora. That could put down 50 to 75 millimeters of rain this morning. Got some passing showers moving their way eastwards across Newfoundland. So bring the umbrellas in St. John's. But behind that front, less humid, beautiful day in the Maritimes, most of Quebec and most of Ontario. Again, east of where we were talking about that heavy rain. So the front, this is continuing to move its way eastwards across Newfoundland. Some passing showers with it. And then for you in the Maritimes, today is quite lovely and tomorrow as well. So back to the sunscreen and not as muggy as it has been. The cold front dripping down from Hudson Bay will bring some showers by this evening from Thunder Bay to Timmins and Val d'Or towards the Saguenay overnight tomorrow. Now in cottage country, beautiful day today. Tomorrow, though, there could be a few passing showers there in northern and eastern sections of the region for much of southern Ontario. Saturday is lovely and Sunday chance of showers. Heading to a TD place, got the rematch between the Edmonton Elks and the Ottawa Red Blacks. 24 degrees at kickoff and a bit of a wind out of the south southwest, but it's going to be dry. The Honda Indy. That's in Toronto this weekend. Today's beautiful. Tomorrow's lovely. And then Sunday, just a chance of passing showers for you. Across the west, it is the ongoing punishing heat, especially into B.C., Alberta. And that stretches across much of Saskatchewan, northern areas of Manitoba and the Northwest Territories. We've been getting earlier in the week, Wednesday night, we had that lightning that caused a bunch of new fires in portions of southeastern British Columbia. There are some lightning strikes there. It looks like northern caribou country near Prince George and up through the north uh, coast inland sections so keeping a close eye on that hopefully that's not sparking new fires risk of thunderstorms widespread across the west but potentially maybe more severe towards the bc peace and the elbow region are you uh, taking in the Blue Bombers Rough Riders game at Mosaic Stadium? Uh, it's going to be a hot one today. Keep yourself well hydrated. Risk of thunderstorms. Hopefully they hold off until the end of the game. So despite this area of high pressure, we do have a little trough moving through, and that's going to spark those thunderstorms in the elbow region. The BC piece could be looking at some hail, high winds, and obviously lightning in these dry conditions will be a concern. The other story, though, of course, is the heat. So that is going to continue, in fact, peak this weekend in the BC interior into Monday and there's 133 fires out of control in BC. That is a big uptick from earlier in the week and we've had a lot of hot weather in July so far. Edmonton, you've had six days already. Normally you get two and you'll likely get six more before this stretch is over and look at those temperatures in the 40s in the interior.